<laughs> Y'all, I just wanted to uh, throw in my little two cents here before you grab your attention and get into this video here. Um, this was very in the flow state of energy. This was very in the moment. Um, I had to go run over to my parents' house earlier from my grandparents and uh, pick out a journal that I, I just clicked. It was the right moment. This right here. Uh, this video, it's not like a structured video, but there is a lot of information here that you can all make sense of. Okay, creatures. There is a lot of information in here that should show my growth, should show my ability, and should show that the techniques that I have used in my mind and continue to use every day are beneficial for us, for us, for humanity, okay? So bear with it there. Feel free to skip forward two parts that aren't really uh, making sense or if I'm being slow or things like that. Just try to get the whole vibe of my message there regarding our mental health and mental health awareness, okay? Take care, creatures, and enjoy the video. Hey, creatures, what's up? A little um, unexpected journey here. Uh, I've come to a point where I was supposed to reopen a journal that I owned. Uh, it's, pro it's, pro it's a little over a year old. I bought it at Winners. It's, uh, was it Winners? Or it was at Marshalls. <laughs> uh, it was cheap. Just one thing I felt the urge to do, like felt the energy to invest in. I have some um, stories here that I just want to relate and put or geez I'd love to be able to relate with someone <laughs> regarding this stuff it's just some stories here that I would enjoy to put across to you all there's actually a few things in here that I can um, do a video on regarding uh, mental health ways to overcome anxiety depression oh this is really like full circle y'all this is so full circle you let this is so full circle i had to stop reading it and grab the camera I'll start here. Um, I didn't date the <laughs> rookie mistake, but from a little bit of reading forward um, before I turned the camera on, I realized that uh, it's a little over a year old, like just over a year old. My spiritual awakening is helping me cope with situations that have normally stressed, and that was all that was there. I just added in, me out, always and forever, not anymore. To recap, what I wrote here a year ago was, my spiritual awakening is helping me cope with situations that have normally stressed. That was it. I don't, I can't really tell you why, but that was it. Fast forward a page, flip over a page. Your spiritual awakening is going to teach you completely what things matter and have always mattered most to you. This could be relationships with a partner you have, your parents, or even how to cope with friendships that you may be struggling with. Please keep in mind, um, this time last year, I have never been in a relationship. I have never 
connected with someone energy wise this is all in October quick recap your spiritual awakening is going to teach you completely about relationships the things that matter most in life for everyone it could be towards your parents family friends I continue on to say the parts for myself the main things that have been happening to me at the beginning of my awakening is the coping and managing what relationships are most important and just exactly what it is that helps me or helps make you happy see like the writing here isn't making it's, it's, I, it's not really making complete sense because I if I recall I was writing you know the thing the flow I was going with the flow just there's like there's so much scratched out here and stuff I've always had a love and crazy appreciation for animals and always had a connection whenever in the presence of one, mostly due to being an empath. That's another topic though, however, a month or so after the beginning of my awakening, I started to feel very alone in my thoughts. This will probably be something you'll eventually be able to relate to after a short or long period of time. I continue on, y'all, from this page to right here. Okay, not the top of the page, I left that blank for some reason. What's written there is, Asked night before for a Thanksgiving sign-off, exactly what I'm thankful for. 2017 Thanksgiving is when this was written or around that era like it was around a year ago continuing on I found myself thinking about thoughts that I wanted a relationship or even that I wanted a connection of some sort from a positive vibration but I truly couldn't say for sure if you know me at all get this y'all if you know me at all, then you instantly know how personally out of character that is for me. I'm Devin Walsh. I don't date people, question mark. I'm Devin Walsh. I do date people. Exclamation point. <laughs> One year later, baby. One year later. <sighs> A positive vibration? WTF do you mean by that? <laughs> Probably a lot of you watching this right now. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote a positive vibration what the fuck do you mean by that a dildo from Amazon <laughs> I'm croaking at myself even in the darkest of times y'all I still have my humor <laughs> I continue on to say if you don't know me, well then surprise, I've never been in a relationship. I haven't read this far, y'all. Since that uh, dildo comment there, I haven't read past it. If you don't know me, well then surprise, I've never been in a relationship. On top of it, I write. 
I let it out. I let out the negativity, the negative energy. Never will be. On the very top line. So, my mind made me... It felt right to write that out and to get that out of my system. At least the ego that my negative, depressive blockages have created and made me believe. <laughs> this stemming from insecurities that my mind was creating from negative thoughts and actions. Giving you one example as to why you must always share and give nothing but love, acceptance, and appreciation. Fuck no, I ain't a master in any of those things. <laughs> Devin boy, you're getting a hell of a lot better. But I do know that they are words every individual should believe and live by. So pull yourself together, bud. <laughs> I do... But I do know that they are words every individual should believe and live by. Practice every day. To top it all off, I know that I am realizing these things due to my awakening. I carry on with saying, I'm thankful every day now for something new, y'all. If you watch my vlog today, from today, I speak a lot about Christmas, and I say to myself today in my mind, or I said to, you know, every day is like Christmas for me now. Every day is like a birthday for me now, like. Get on that level, y'all. Get on that level, okay? That's a goal. That should be a goal for you all. It could be my mother. <laughs> Buying me my favorite chocolate bar. That a grandfather of mine loved. Or even the way my dog shoves her nose under my arm. <laughs> Whenever I'm eating at the kitchen table with my family, I write in brackets. Also something that I'm thankful for and rarely happened, maybe twice a year, due to a history of crappy and draining energy. Y'all, a year later, my mother wasn't at the Thanksgiving dinner table with us as a family because of that negative energy still being within her. Her own choice. Her own choice. I'm thankful for whatever, for whatever has been happening over the last two months. This process of my spiritual awakening, spiritual awakening started for me in August of 2017. August, September, October, and uh, whatever, we get that. We know we're <laughs> in October here. But y'all, full circle. This is full circle. I say that lightly as I slowly realize how long this has been building up. In me. Okay. Uh, I leave two pages blank. 2017. December 3rd. So that was it, y'all. That right there. That was it. That was all I wrote for October. I'm going to go, I'll read this little part here. 2017, December 3rd. I write on the top, tips, question mark. How do I achieve the abilities to get 
a client to trust and open up to me with things such as who they are having other feelings for outside of their relationship, who they have judgment towards, and why that judgment is there. I then go forward with a lot of psychology, <laughs> like, a lot of psychology, apathy, grief, fear, the definitions of all of these things, guilt, shame. Each level on the scale has its own emotions. What scale was I referring to? There's anger, pride, courage. I have courage. Do you? Once again, I talk about purpose in life and attaining education or other goals become to pursue. Y'all, guess who's starting school in January? This guy, the high school dropout. The high school dropout. I left high school, y'all. That nine to five lifestyle that is still enforced on you by the school not for me. And this right here should be able to put that in perspective for people. How much I have grown and matured and altered my brain chemistry, y'all, within the last year of my life. I, I, I I just have to continue sharing my stories with you all and I really hope that people benefit from this and that people take information from the stories I put across here, from the truth that I speak, from the feelings and emotions that I express. I talk here, or I have notes here about cognitive theory. five types of guilt and y'all I guarantee if I read all of this here like I'm going to grow if I wrote all of this down y'all like so neatly so good so I'm proud of myself okay try it start journaling Whatever that flow, uh, whenever that flow of anger or energy or guilt or fear comes in you, y'all, like, take, use your phones, use your iPhones, go into your notepad, just get in the zone, y'all, get direct with a tool, get direct with your energy, yourself. This is going to be very beneficial for me. Very beneficial for me. And so I can't even ex like grasp the ways right now of how beneficial all of this notes here are for me right now. Thank you, Devin of December 2017. <laughs> Your own failure will not help bring someone back to life. Nor will it make your loved ones feel better about themselves. Now, if that is not a sentence that I genuinely had to receive here today, it is like uh, that. It, I re that is a message of energy there for me right now, y'all. That I'll re see how that caught my eye. See how I just went to that there, like. Your own failure will not help bring someone back to life. 
nor will it make your loved ones feel better about themselves. Know that your efforts are always a tribute to them. Y'all, I'm on board with this here. I continue to talk about the Barrett model, the way we operate at levels of consciousness. Like y'all, this is great content to be for this, from my channel. I talk about the levels of consciousness, the stages of development. I have some notes here written for myself. I got all of that other like information on psychology courses online. I can see ego very well. What energy level do you start to let go of the ego? That's a good question for y'all and myself. What energy level do you start to let go of your ego? Now, we need ego to survive, to get through. But ego, oh, ego is harmful. Ego can be so harmful. Ego is your insecurity. Ego is your wearing so much makeup. Covering up your beauty. That is all your ego, friends. I'm not coming at you. I'm coming for you. <laughs> Me. I can pick up a person's emotions quite well. Of a mystical or spiritual nature, you can temporarily jump to a higher level of consciousness. Rare situations of peak experience can result in a lasting impact, causing us to shift to a higher stage of personal development, giving us power to operate from a higher level of consciousness. Rare, I'm going to read that again for myself and for you. Rare situations of peak experience can result in a lasting impact, however, causing us to shift to a higher stage of personal development, giving us power to operate from a higher level of consciousness. In contrast, this is just a side note here. For me, it seems common sense, but for a lot of you, it probably might not be. In contrast, a negative experience, and I quoted that like in quotations, negative experience, because experiences aren't negative if you have the proper structure and the proper perception of the reality that is going on there. You won't, think, you won't view, I don't view situations as negative anymore. I don't. So in contrast, a negative experience, if traumatic enough, especially occurring during childhood slash teenage years, can impede our future psychological development. This can cause you to be anchored through frequent, frequent, frequent triggering of the traumatic memory, leading you into one of the three lower level of consciousness shown in my previous diagram. I have, I'm just gonna end that there, y'all. This can cause you to be anchored through frequent triggering of the traumatic memory. Or, you could literally just be someone that ignores it blocks it out like a lot of the people I'm surrounded by like there's answers in this book 
for my family. The thing is, are they open for it? Are they aware that this here, what I have written here is truth, is a psychological reality, psychological experience, is psychological thrill in my mind. This is psychological thrill. This is so exciting to me. But my family, on the other hand, <laughs> you're dramatic, Devin. My family, on the other hand, they're not down for that stuff. I've led by example. I continue to do so, and I will continue to do so. But I don't, I don't see my family getting on board with any of that crap or foolishness that is in that journal. Unless I could bring them $100,000, you know, a large sum of money, which I believe I can. I believe I can bring money forward to my family eventually. I feel it already. The development I have done here, y'all. It's coming. It's on the way. It's coming my way. And I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. And it's there for me. I just live a... I don't know. This feels very full circle right now. Ending that there, this is very full circle. I hope that people can connect and vibe through this. I hope that you start a journey soon of a spiritual awakening or a conscious awareness awakening. Any type of shift in your awareness is a good Stop letting the anxiety and the fear and the anger control you. Get over it. It doesn't even exist in my realm. Like, that's amazing to me right now to be speaking these words. My heart is like pounding. My heart's pounding, y'all, and it's not anxiety, it's energy. It's excitement. It is pure fucking joy. Take care, creatures. I gotta start looking at the camera more. Not my own self.